Hello, in this video we will learn about the cryptosporidosis. The cryptosporidosis is due to the parasite. The, it is parasitic disease. Let's learn about the cryptosporidosis infection and how it is possible. The cause is a by cryptosporidium genus of protozoan parasites phylum epicomplexan. So the cryptosporidium mean the crypto mean the hidden the spore mean the spore sporidium. So affect distal small intestine like here is the uh, stomach duodenum jejunum and ileum. This is the basically distal part affected side, and this is the basically causes an invasion into the epithelial cell as well as remain in the lumen also. Let's further understand now. Um, also can affect the respiratory tract. High risk of uh, high risk of uh, progression for those HIV patient. So during the swallowing, the also can affect the respiratory tract whenever it will be transmitted into the respiratory system. Also cause pneumonia and a lot of things. Transmission through fecal oral route uh, by contamination water content uh, some water which that is content uh, will be related to the contamination of the uh, cryptosporidium genus. Here is the water and person. Let's begin to understand the uh, recreational water and contaminated due to the feces enter into the water lead to contamination and other the feet when contaminated will lead to contamination of water, uh, waste and food with oocyst whenever the people will drink the drink water, the thick walled oocyst ingested by host. Whenever it will be ingested into the host, it will be swallow and esophagus, it can be also transmitted through diet whenever the uncooked diet and the stomach will use for the digestion but this thick wall will undigestible and the intestine the large intestine is not involved but the small intestine is involved the distal end of the intestine remember let's begin to understand their cycle so the uh, how it can be uh, progress in the lumen of the uh, small intestine this is the lymphatic system, the lacteal and the enterocytes, the brush powder cells contain a brush powder enzyme. Remember, this is used for the digestive system, uh, digestion of the food. And this is the mucous membrane which that protect against the pathogen as well as uh, the mutualistic bacteria prevention remain in the lumen all time. Oocyst thick wall and thin walled uh, uh, thin walled oocyst can be first week will require to move and invade into the sporozoid formation uh, into the uh, into the uh, anterocyte upper part uh, 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 and in this way the micro micro villi will be affected will lead to trophozoid formation and this trophozoid will lead to uh, type 1 meront formation this type 1 meros, meront will convert into the merozoid and this is the asexual cycle again merozoid produce trophozoid and uh, remain intact with the epithelial microvilli on the other hand whenever the merozoid also convert into the type 2 meront this type 2 meront contain a uh, merozoids again production but this merozoid is different remember this merozoid uh, after the uh, after the result of meiosis to produce microgamete and uh, microgamont and macrogamont this is the undifferentiated gamut will convert into the micro and macro gamut and in this way the micro and macro gamut that after rupturing the sexual cycle will begin due to the microgamete and macrogamete production. This macrogamete and microgamete is the result due to the asexual not but sexual reproduction to produce the zygote again after the fertilization lead to auto infection again to produce oocyst thick and thin walled. 
uh, it is required the fo oh, uh, first week is required to infection anyhow this is the cycle remember for the reproduction to increase their individuals increase their species in the lumen so the luminal ecology required for this reproduction so human is requiring anyhow let's begin to understand this is the resident microbiota and epithelial cell the resident microbiota is contain nutrients whenever when we will eat food so remember the uptake nutrients through sporozoite as well as oocyst thick wall and thin wall which that will be bile acid fats protein and zinc will required in this way sodium also and this is the luminal ecology and the host response will occur we will discuss now but these nutrients can be bile acids fat protein and carbs it is absorb absorbable and enterocyte will absorb it through different mechanism we are not understanding but this is the uptake nutrients via a sporozoid formation due to the oocyst thick wall will lead to sporozoid formation and survival and adaptation will occur remember this will lead to intact with the enterocyte the brush border end of the enterocyte the microvilli remember anyhow this is a survival and adaptation adaptation will occur remember but let's begin to understand the, uh, uh, about the nutrient absorption so the nutrient absorption proliferation resistant will really uh, occur due to the immune system barrier integrity will in enhance early clearance can be occur due to the dendritic cell dendritic cell interact to identify the antigen of this sporozoid which that is the uh, 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 anti uh, uh, dendritic cell are present in the epithelial this is the gastrointestinal dendritic cell early clearance due to the interleukin 6 and toll like receptor enhancement anyhow this is basically is the uh, cyst arrest due to the epithelial cell will lead to cause inflammation and this inflammation as well as the barrier disruption will occur due to the inflammation inflammation due to the macrophage will be recruit through cytokines and the macrophage produce the nitric oxide increase will lead to permeability of the epithelial cell more as well as inflammation increase early clearance due to the interleukin 6 will release uh, uh, will lead to recruit the mast cell and in this the mast cell will also the part of allergen and it's called uh, allergic reaction in the digestive system anyhow it will be progress due to the rupture of the epithelial barrier will lead to invasion of the uh, of the parasite while on the other hand the cd4 t cell activation early clearance response will lead to late clearance immunoglobulin response from b cell and in this way it will be uh, late so that is why the chronic inflammation and Uh, will be occur this chronic inflammation will lead to recruit b cell and cd8 will lead to cytotoxic t cell interferon gamma is recruiting and ap apoptosis and micro environment uh, interferon gamma is re, uh, in, is basically important for the recruitment of the cd8 anyhow the apoptosis and micro environment and glucose when decrease the chronic inflammation response it is and again and again this chronic inflammation will lead to more damage of the epithelial the enterocyte and in this way the cd4 target to the pathogen so pathogen also can enter into the uh, via uh, permeability when increase the microbiota will invade epithelial cell damage dysbiosis and bacterial Uh, translocation and infection can cause is the possible pathogenesis pathogenesis so let's begin to understand the complication including a persistent diarrhea due to the sodium absorption is not possible too much epithelial damage malnutrition growth delays and co cognitive impairment due to the sodium and potassium imbalance hyponatremia the sodium decrease as well as the other complication can arise while the 
diagnosis is the examination of stool sample, several time microscopic identification. Treatment is including the uh, 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 nitazozanite had has been FDA approved of diarrhea a treatment, the diarrheal treatment. Remember, the diarrhea is the major crypt cryptosporidosis cryptosporidosis the character is major is a diarrhea uh, identification through a stool uh, analysis i hope you make sense about this this video was about the cryptosporidosis and the cause due to the cryptosporidium is the genus of protozoan parasite thanks for watching see in the next video if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and share and give the comment below for understanding better if you have any doubt. Thanks for watching. Now, bye.